Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we will talk about on how to build a website in 2022 and beyond. Nung nasa college pa lang ako, um, usually ang ginagamit ko sa pag-build ng mga website is more on HTML, if you're familiar sa HTML, CSS, PHP, and so on. And bakit nga ba mahalaga na magkaroon ka ng website. I have a website kung pupuntahan mo yung jgregory.com. Ginawa ko yung website na yun way back 2015, 2016 pa. So, ang tagal na rin, almost 5 years na rin. And the idea bakit mahalaga na meron kang website is ito yung magiging uh, personal home mo on the web. Okay? So, hindi ito yung tinatawag na meron kang Facebook, meron kang YouTube, meron kang uh, Instagram, meron kang other social media, marami kang followers, TikTok. But having your own website, you start building your authority on the internet. And also, pinaka-importante dito yung full control dun sa mga content. No? On Facebook, kung walang picture dyan, walang video, walang content, so hindi siya matatawag na social media kasi content ang nandun. So content, no, ang puhunan ng mga social media. Pero ang mangyayari dyan, kapag nawala yung social media na to, sabihin natin Facebook or other social media na wala. Friendster before, di ba? Wala na. So, yung mga content doon, walang way to back up or wala kang full control. Hindi mo own yung content na yun. Kumbaga, uh, nag-borrow ka lang, di ba? nakigamit ka lang ng platform. But, on website, having your own website, ikaw yung merong full control. Ano man yung mangyari, you have a full backup doon sa website mo everyday. Pwede mo siyang i-backup, pwede mo siyang ilipat for different uh, hosting or other platform. That's the one thing na nagustuhan ko on having a personal website. Okay, next. What you need to start on building a website? Number one, you need a domain URL. So like on jgregory.com, yourname.com. This is a domain URL na kailangan mo siyang i-register. Merong mga free but I suggest purchase a uh, paid domain. So yung .com. Okay? Second is you need a platform. Maraming mga platform na available on the market. You can start on uh, free or paid. Uh, sa free, nandiyan yung mga Squarespace, um, Wix.com, Weebly, and so on. And WordPress is one of the most popular and almost 70% ng buong website on, on the planet is host on WordPress platform. So, isa yun sa mga nagustahan ko sa platform na to. Kaya, since 2015, um, after ko gamitin yung CSS, HTML, PHP na sobrang hindi siya uh, talaga recommended sa lalo na sa mga startup. So, I started to learn paano ba ginagamit yung WordPress. Until now, I'm using this platform. Okay, what's next? Ano yung gagawin ko? Paano ako makakapag-purchase ng domain once ready na ako sa platform na to? Okay, so I, I recommend go to uh, jgregorio.com slash bluehost and then search mo yung name mo. So bluehost, ang maganda sa bluehost is kapag gagamit ka ng WordPress platform is pre, okay? Pre ibibigay yung domain. So parang makakales ka ng almost uh, uh, $10 a year. So for the first year, so around 500 pesos yon, $20 ganun. And meron din naman mga other alternative like punta ka sa GoDaddy, purchase a domain like mga 400, roughly mga 700 yan. Or Namecheam, makaka-purchase ka dyan ng .com domain na uh, around 300 to 500. Pero separate yun. So babayaran mo yung domain. Ang nagustuhan ko sa Bluehost, okay, Bluehost dito ako nagsimula yung web hosting ko. And I started to migrate na lang on bigger hosting nung marami na ako mga hinohost na website. And Bluehost, so far on my experience, okay siya. Cheap on the market na hosting company na makakapagsimula ka ng your own hosting, host your own WordPress, your website. And iyon yung nagustuhan ko sa Bluehost web hosting. Next is how to connect your domain on the platform. So, may mga guide dyan, like on Bluehost, na sinabi ko kanina, Once you buy a domain hosting on Bluehost, automatically, ipopoint mo na lang, i-coconnect mo na lang yung pre-domain mo na binigay ni Bluehost. Pero just in case, if you have already a domain name, nakapag-purchase ka na before, and you want to try a Bluehost web hosting, pwede mo naman gamitin yung uh, already registered na domain URL mo. So, meron ding options na ganun. Okay, so ang maganda doon, separate yung domain mo. 
ok tapos separate yung web hosting mo ibig sabihin kung ayaw mo na kay hosting ipat ka sa ibang hosting so ganun lang siya ka very easy before making a website is not easy no nagsisimula ako nabanggit ko sa iyo kanina na talagang uh, ginagabi ko para mag-design HTML, coding, at masakit sa ulo. And today, sa dami-dami ng available na platform na available ngayon, almost 100 plus na platform to host your website is pipili ka na lang. So, hindi na siya ganun ka-complicated before. So, ibig sabihin, you can launch, no? makakapagsimula ka kagad at makakapag-start ka ng sarili mong website. Okay, next questions. What do I need to focus once you have a website? Ano yung mga dapat kong ipokus na kapag meron na akong website. So itong mga tips na ibibigay ko sa iyo is based on my own own experience siya, not from other guru. No? So ibig sabihin ito yung mismo yung inapply ko for almost 5 to 6 years na yung uh, gregory.com website ko. Number 1 is you need to create a three important pages on your website. Okay, number one is a homepage, which is yung jgregory.com. Yun, yun yung homepage na makikita mo. Second is you need to create another page na about me or about page na tinatawag. So, dun mo ilalagay yung all about yourself para mapakilala ka. Sabi ko nga sa'yo kanina, having a website is like a having your own home on the internet. So, yun yung idea. And third one, na page na pinaka-importante is yung contact page. So, yung mga tao is pwede kang makontakt anytime dun sa contact page mo. Pwede ka maglagay dyan ng social media link mo, messenger link, a contact numbers, or a uh, uh, submit form para makapag-submit sila ng inquiry or uh, questions about sa'yo or connect. So, napaka-importante yun ng three pages na to at huwag mo siyang i-skip. Second is you need to focus on creating and providing a good content dun sa mga target audience mo. Good content. Don't worry about sa looks ng website mo sa simula. Napaka-importante yung content. Content is ito yung mag-a-attract dun sa mga tao na pumupunta dun sa website mo. Okay? So, mayroon tinatawag na uh, niche. Ibig sabihin, if you are in affiliate marketing industry or online business industry, e-commerce industry, yung mga content mo dun, ibig sabihin marketing, ibig sabihin yung mga content na ilalagay mo dun is merong connection dun sa industry na meron ka. So, ibig sabihin, ang maganda nun is madaling makakarelate yung mga tao na pumupunta doon sa website. Ibig sabihin, ang website ko pa na na to is more on about marketing. So, like for example, Smart Passive Income, one of the uh, website blogs na pinalo ko matagal na matagal na until now and so on. Marami pa. And makikita mo sa mga content nila is very uh, targeted. Ibig sabihin, naka-align ano siya, naka siya dun sa mga target audience niya. Kasi si Patlin, si Smart Passive Income, is talagang anlaki. No? Anlaki ng revenue, anlaki ng nabili ng subscribers, na monetize niya ng tama yung website niya. Third one is build an email list. Don't forget yung third na to. Having your own email list is different from having your own website. Website is ito yung mga taong pupuntahan ng mga visitors. Okay? Pero wala ka pang total uh, control dun sa uh, data kung paano mo sila mapapabalik sa website mo. Okay? So, having your own email list, kapag nagbibuild ka ng email list mo, ibig sabihin kapag nag-opt-in sila sa'yo, nag-subscribe sa newsletter mo, is madali ka makakapag-connect sa kanila. And added... Ah, uh, credibility yun dahil once na nagpo-provide ka na ng value via email, nag-update ka, kinukumas naman sila, nagbibigay ka ng mga tips via email, is nag-nurture yung relationship na tinatawag. Kahit na hindi kayo magkakilala, no? pero yung uh, connection is nandun. Yung relationship is nabibuild yun through email marketing. So, email marketing is most powerful marketing tool na magagamit mo. On the web. Alright, so pang-apat na tayo, ang next na gagawin mo is you need to monetize. Okay? Pero hindi ko sinasabi na i-skip mo to. Monetization, ibig sabihin, you can start selling a physical product. Okay? Uh, selling a digital product, sell a courses, a membership like me. I'm doing this, I have a courses, membership, and community inside my uh, website. So, yun yung power ng having your own website. Total control sa lahat na hindi ka nagde-depende sa Facebook group or other uh, community platform. 
kumbaga ikaw yung merong uh, total control sa data mo or you can start on affiliate marketing affiliate marketing recommendations you can provide the affiliate links dun sa mga uh, audience mo like on example i received recently kanina lang i received around 1100 plus dollars on recommending a software and different software na nare-recommend ko i have a resources page on my website you can check on my website go to jgregory.com slash resources makikita mo dun yung mga recommended platform recommended tools na magagamit for uh, building a online business or marketing tools na very helpful at mag talagang makakatulong sa'yo and the last na gusto kong ibigay na tip sa'yo is repeat the process from step 2 to step number 4 okay provide good value provide good content to your audience and third build an email list or is monetize your uh, website all right so i hope na marami kang natutunan dito sa ating very short tips on having your own website this 2022 and beyond and if you have anything questions let me know on the comment below and by the way if you're looking a platform na all-in-one platform na hinahanap mo na uh, talagang makakatulong sa iyo on building your own website, personal website, branding website, or makakatulong din sa'yo to sell your own brand if you have a product na sarili mo or nag isip ka na magsimula ng general store or selling a product, selling a digital product, courses, membership, and if you want to start your own email marketing, build an email list, I have a recommended software which is I am the creator and founder of this software. Go to negotiotoolkit.com and learn more about the features of Negosyo Toolkit na makakatulong sa iyo on building your own website. Once again, this is Jay Gregorio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make today a better than yesterday. Keep safe always and I will see you on the next one.